Hey, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you on uh, cloth and not cloth and fur, uh, hair and fur, and it's really cool if you uh, if you really get into uh, hair and fur. So let's get started. I'm using 3ds Max. Uh, I'm not sure what kind. You can uh, use up to six, I believe, if they still have it in the other previous ones. So let's get started. I'm just going to make a sphere because I'm not going to get that graphical. Alright, so now I am going to, oops, sorry, go to select my uh, 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 sphere that I'm going to put hair on. I'm going to go to modify. I'm going to go to modify list and then click hair and fur. Alright, now that if we um, look, we have all these points sticking out. And I'm just going to click on it. And now we have this uh, modify. And down here, my go into style you can style your hair it's pretty, you just gotta click style hair then you can comb it you can really do anything with it get in there get detailed also you can cut some parts if you're not doing so well right there, just cut it and select oh select some of the hair and move it I guess. I never use that tool. Alright, so now I'm going to select render and now it's just it doesn't look like it does anything, but now it's rendering the hair and fur. It just rendered the circle, but now it's gonna render the hair and fur. And now as you see that we're starting to get this uh, little image of pretty realistic hair. It's really cool. And yes, I uh, combed it and see over here I cut it so yeah and then I'm going to tell you how to change your hair color and that's where I don't see uh, a lot of people in uh, YouTube doing like showing you how to make change your hair color and stuff and this so I'm going to go to tools and I'm going to go to pre percent percent and I'm going to click load and now we have our uh, dialogue with all different kinds of hairs and furs and uh, it's pretty cool looking if you ask me if you click on one uh, which I click there's a uh, afro dump wet and a bunch of more I'm just gonna click on this a random one alright so now it automatically just puts it in doesn't look any different so if I click render it's gonna do the same exact thing as a uh, last hair, it's gonna, but the color's gonna be changed, so keep your eye out for that. Wait for this to load. <coughs> Sorry, this is taking so long. Here, I'll pause the video, and uh, once it's done, I'll show you guys. So, bye. Alright, it's done rendering. Uh, I just got done pausing the video and re well, resuming it. And this is what the hair uh, looks like. And it's, re I have to tell you, it's pretty. If you really get into uh, hair and fur in 3ds Max, you can do some crazy stuff. And I'm going to show you something uh, I haven't shown any of you guys. It's much easier than just going up to U YouTube. It's, uh, I learned this in. Uh, 3ds max tutorials and stuff i just went up to help and i want under i think it was tutorials yeah all right so right here it has like millions and millions of uh 3ds max tutorials on there they're not uh the tutorial there's tutorials files and this is for 2010 if you have it it's really interesting and a bunch of files and movies they show you how to do stuff uh, i'll show you one for here the way i did hair and cl hair and stuff I went out in here and it taught me how to do this and the to learn it I you click on this create a correction and helmet I believe it says and then you can uh, click on plus on the hair and go to style hair and spleen emitter click next and that tells you how to create the hair and it's really interesting and this is what the hair looked like when it was done and that is a really great render and it's not that hard if you ask me um 
I gave up on a few times because this lion thing messed me up. So, so yeah. Um, when you're done with this hair, uh, show me. Uh, read your response to me. To, uh, I want to see what my viewers are learning and you know if if it's right. So yeah, check out any my any more of my tutorials and see you guys later.